Yes, sir! What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Let me move myself a little bit to the side. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live from Easy Center, man. Check it out, man. Lonzo Ball made his debut last night, and oh, what a catastrophic. No, it wasn't catastrophic. It wasn't even that bad. I mean, it, was, it wasn't good. But it wasn't that bad. I'm not even going to look at the stats because I know he didn't play that well. He didn't have 10 assists. He didn't even have 10 points. So it, it is what it is. But I do know that he played against Patrick Beverly. Now, you did have Jordan Clarkson who came off the bench, had like 23 points, and he played very well. But I don't believe that Lonzo Ball played badly or played poorly because he's incapable of playing well. I think he played poorly because he was playing against Patrick Beverly. Patrick Beverly, there we go, uh, three, three points, nine, nine rebounds, and four assists. He had a decent game, but at the same time, he played against Patrick Beverly. Patrick Beverly does this to everyone. There's not a person that he doesn't do this to, especially rookies. A lot of times, like, like you might say Steph Curry has a good game against him, or you know other guys like that have a good game against him, but other people really rarely have a good game against Patrick Beverly. This is what he does to people. He puts you on the ground, he bumps you, he frustrates you, and he just gets in your gym shorts, pause, and he just makes you earn every inch of everything that you're going for on the basketball court. I'm not worried about Lonzo Ball, man. I think he's still going to be top candidate, a top candidate for rookie of the year. He's going to be in a battle with Ben Simmons and those guys, but I mean, it's not time to push the panic button yet. Do you guys think it's time to push the panic button? Because I don't. I feel like I feel like he's he played as well as a first-time NBA player first in their first game can play against Patrick Beverly. I mean, like I said, Pat Beverly is not out there to score buckets. He's out there to do that, hit a corner three, just like Boost Bowen, and then he's out there to frustrate you into not being able to play your game. So I'm not worried about Lonzo Ball. If this continues, I'll be worried. But you know, like I said, rookie first game against Pat Beverly, I'm not really worried, man. And on to OKC, ladies and gents, where you got your boy uh, Melo making, and Paul George and the trio of he, Paul George, and Russell Westbrook making their debut. These guys actually played very well together last night. I was surprised. It was like, it was like you had Russell Westbrook, was controlling the point and, and trying to get everybody else involved. If uh, Paul George caught the ball or if he got the ball, he did his own thing. He created for himself. And then you have Melo kind of being spoon-fed a little bit by Russell Westbrook. Now, at the beginning of the game, Melo played very well. He played, he you know, he had a, a couple of shots and then this happened. He went like, he was like one for 10. After that, I saw Russell Westbrook really help him and just told him, hey, right here on this shot right here, he, he, he kept going to him. He didn't go away from him. Melo does a reluctant three to the head, but Russell Westbrook was telling him, yo, just keep shooting it. We need you. And that's something that I didn't think was going to happen. I knew Russell Westbrook would be able to get everybody else involved. Knew he was going to be able to get Paul George involved, but I didn't think that it would be to this degree. I mean, he had an outstanding game. They all played very well together. The team defense was really good. You had... um. One thing I will say is they're going to be in trouble on rebounding because rebounding is just not is not what they're going to be able to do with a smaller lineup, especially with Melo at the four. But one thing I did see is that Russell Westbrook actually, when he passes to somebody for the assist, he's got people that can actually knock down the shot or get to the rim or do whatever they want to do. You got Paul George, like I said, he defends and creates on his own. You got Melo who can hit. He, he never saw a shot he didn't like. And he can, he's athletic and get to the rim. And he can hit any shot that, on, that he's on the floor that he's spoon fed for. And then you got Westbrook who, like at the end of the game, just takes off and just takes over the game like that. So he set up everybody in the first half. And then at the end of the second, at, toward the end of the second half, he just started getting his own shots. And I really like that. I really think that that's going to be something to work, that, that, that can work for him. I don't know if they're going to get past the, um, I don't know how far they're going to be able to go. They may be able to get to the Western Conference Finals. They may be able to get past the, the uh, Golden State Warriors. But I, I really don't know. We just have to see. And last but not least, we have your boy Jeremy Lin, man. I don't have any footage for that. But I will tell you this. Jeremy Lin is pretty much done for the season. Uh, that ruptured patella tendon is something that's real. My father had a ruptured patella tendon, and though he wasn't, like, I think he was, he was my age when he had the ruptured patella tendon. He was like 36, 37. But when he had that, I mean, it's, it's, it's a good six to eight months, man. Six to eight months. So uh, a younger person like Jeremy Lin, it's going to be for the season. I don't think we'll see him back at the, at the end of the season. And I'm pretty sure that's the same thing that uh, Blake Griffin had as well. And, um, you know, 
they, they it's six to eight months, man. It's, and, and then it's like really an entire year for you to get all the way back into your form. Now, Jeremy Lin never really had any real, real, real explosion. Like he was, he was a little, he's an NBA player, so obviously he was athletic, but he never had any real explosion. So I don't think we'll be missing much in the athleticism department, but at the same time, will he be able to do the same thing that he can? Because if you're a big man, you can probably get away with that because a big man, most of your stuff is straightforward or you just go to a spot and then you're gonna post up. But as a guard, that's gonna be very difficult for Mr. Lynn to um to really cope with or what have you. But like I said, we seen uh, Sean Livingston have a more catastrophic injury and he was able to come back after a couple of years and now he's playing very well with the Golden State Warriors. So I don't expect this to keep him out more than a year. I feel like after a year or so, you know, he'll be, he'll, He'll be back six to eight months, but uh, that's going to put us in, in the summertime. So, obviously, that'll be the end of the season. That's not going to make the playoffs, so obviously that's not going to happen. So, it'll be at, after the end of the season, but then at the same time, you know, it's probably going to take another two or three months after he returns or after he's able to get back on the court before he's going to be able to really do, um, you know, be himself again. But like I said, he was never really super, super duper athletic anyway, so who knows. Anyway, man, that's all I got for you guys today. You guys let me know. Did Lonzo Ball get eaten alive? Or, you know, do we are we really worried about him? Or, you know, is it just he played against Pat Beverly and that's what he does to people? I mean, that's that's where I'm going with it. Also, um, how do you think the Thunder are gonna fare when they play more competition? The Knicks played really good defense last night, so I mean if they are able to perform that way against a team that really defended them really well, I mean, I think they can play with anybody. But that's all I got for y'all today, man. Got to get up out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Until next time, it's your boy Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Holla! They sticked out this mug.